Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. How in the world are you? It's Wednesday, y'all. Okay. Wednesday. I am so proud of y'all. Should I say that? Should I say I'm proud of y'all? Shucks, I'm proud of me. Not proud, though. That's not a good word, is it? I'm thankful. I heard a song this morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today is the 26th of October. It's 2022. The time is 9.02. And um, we're blessed. We're blessed. We made it through, y'all. It's the third day of the week. Isn't, isn't it time going by so fast, though? Isn't it? Yeah, like, it seems to be sweeping through. Just fast. Quick. I've been listening to uh, a song. by a gentleman by the name of Ron Cannoli. And uh, power on. This power. Bluetooth pairing. He's singing about um, the ancient of days. Oh my gosh. He is Speaking truth. And it it encouraged me this morning. I was listening to it. Bluetooth connected. Uh while I was in, in the bedroom. I don't own copyright privileges to it. Hallelujah! Makes you want to shout, don't it? Talking about our Father God. Talking about our Lord and Savior. Talking about our Creator. Our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah to God. Listen to those moments. Hear the drums? It don't sound to me like he's crying about anything, do you, do you think so? Oh. And he's speaking truth. And I don't own copyright privileges to it. I do own the Bible, though. Yeah, I own the Bible. That's why he's singing. He's singing about truth. Praise the Lord and good morning, everyone. Good morning, saints of God. Saints here in Tennessee, those up in Kentucky, down in Florida, Alabama, Detroit, Michigan, Washington, D.C., Maryland, New York, New Jersey. Good morning to you. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Japan. Good morning, India. Did you know he created you? I like music. I like strong music. Ron Canoli is singing about our maker, our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords. Hallelujah this morning. It's six minutes after nine. And he woke me up to worship. He got 
this whole world in his hand, don't we? Listen to that. Even the flute. Almighty God. Now, if you think he, the Lord is not listening and doesn't appreciate praise, something's wrong with your thinking. He said, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. That's exactly what they're doing with the guitar. Praise God. Well, saints, I'm on the Gale trailer. It's seven minutes after nine. I've got to go to work today. And uh, I am thankful to be able to praise him just one more time. I'm thankful. You know what the Lord told us to do? Be thankful unto him. Not only praise him, but to be thankful unto him and praise his holy name. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. And I hope you join me. His kingdom shall reign over all the earth. And his kingdom is reigning. You know that? His kingdom is still reigning. We're singing. We're worshiping. We're praising. Sing today, y'all. Sing. No matter what you hear, what you see, sing. Put a little song to it. While you're doing them dishes, put them a little song. Remember the little songs we earned, uh, learned about years ago? Hmm? Just simple songs. Sing to the ancient of Sing him. The Lord uh, appreciates our songs. He glories in our praise. He doesn't want to hear our complaints. Yeah, we could cross and complain. But he never did appreciate uh, the, the complaining of the children of Israel back in the day. If you will uh, join me, I will uh, pray right now and give him thanks because he's worthy. He's my heavenly father. He's worthy. I just not, I'm not gonna stop praising. I don't have everything that I think will make me happy. Those on Medicare could be claiming a spending account card I don't worth up to three thousand three hundred dollars. Everything that I just don't. But guess what? I've got what I need. Come on, y'all. Let's pray and I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, my soul doth magnify your name this morning. I don't want to worship you emotionally and leave out my heart. So I'm asking you to create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit. Help me to keep my focus on you so that I can praise you continuously all day long. Bind fear and everything that smells, looks, or sounds like it. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. You're a liar. And the truth is never, has never been in you. So Lord, we're gonna look to your word for truth. We're gonna look to the hills for the strength to perform your word. We're gonna ask you, Lord Jesus, for blessings today. 
We're going to bask in the sunlight of your love. We're going to watch as well as pray. Now we're going to hold on to your word because your word is powerful. It's, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. We have word for you right now, Lord. And we want you, Lord Jesus, to help us to realize it every minute, every second of this day. And we thank you for these and all those other blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. His kingdom shall reign over all the earth. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to sing to the ancient of days. St. Joe's. I've been um, looking at the Psalms. Um, boy, oh boy, I was looking at Psalms 8 this morning where the Lord talks about David speaks about what God created and how he put it in the heavenlies and for us to enjoy and he, he speaks so well of uh, God's creation. And uh, they tell me that the Lord loves to hear the praises of his people. He loves, he delights in our worship. He just, it's, it's, I mean, as a mama, hmm, as a daddy, are any of you, how do y'all feel when your kids say thank you? Hmm? How do y'all feel? Oh, mommy, thank you. Oh, mommy, thank you. Well, my daughter, I gave her a little, sent her a little gift for her birthday, October 16th, and the Lord allowed me to, to, to have memories of her as a child. Now that she's an adult, I'm learning who she is, just as she's learning who she is. And uh, she has her own mind. She has her own ideas. She has her own history that I was not a part of. But she knows and is starting to realize it's important to have a God like as unto our God. It's important. It's important to know him. And I am sure she's teaching her child to call upon his holy name. But I, I sent, uh, to make a long story short, I sent my daughter a gift. It wasn't a big giant gift, um, and and uh, I found out that uh, birthday cards are, are expensive. That's that's why I asked you out there. Don't you know? Unless you get a a bargain on some birthday cards, hey, write on a piece of paper because those little cardboard things are very expensive. But just to hear her say thank you to me, I ain't had much. It wasn't a big gift, but I told her it's in the mail and she, she, she might be getting it today. Just to hear her say thank you. Could you imagine what God feels when we say thank you, when we sing, when we praise him, when we take him at his word? Listen to what the word says in Psalms. 37 and 4. It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Delight yourself. Um, you know that the Lord we serve is God. You know, he has a triune 
character who is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. In the old days, they called him by his personal name, Yahweh. Yahweh. And he's always, he always was, always will be. He's the supreme God of the universe, the entire universe. Everything he made, it was good. Now, David said, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of our heart. Where does your joy come from? Okay, does it come from your daily activities, your schedule? Um, I mean, are you finding joy in, uh, in any of these activities? Um, are you really able to say you're delighting yourself in the Lord? Are you? Do you get excited when you, uh, it's time to study the word or you make it something optional? Is it something that you do only when you have time? Unfortunately for me, I could use some improvement. Okay. How about you? Do you get excited when it's time to open up that Bible and study? Or is it an option? I'll read it, but I don't study it as much as I should. Yet I want. That's why when I get to church, I get, I'm like a baby. I want to be spoon fed. I'm serious. I want you to feed me like a big baby. I'm ashamed. I'm really ashamed. I could I can't get enough of the word when I go to church. Pastor them studied the word. And then they feed us. But are we delighting ourselves in the Lord within the confines of our own homes? Come on. Come on, tell the truth. Do you still find time for prayer and meditation? Or are you too busy? You don't have time to pray. Yeah. I know mamas with children and, and daddies with, with families. It's not easy to find time for prayer. But we've got to pray. Prayer is important. I found myself lately, and I'm telling the truth, I don't want to get up at 4. I don't want to get up at 3.30 no more. I just don't feel like it. Do you know that's when he speaks his loudest? When I'm not so busy? When I'm not so caught up in things? duties, responsibilities, and schedules. He blesses those who rise early. Let me ask you another question. Does preaching the gospel make you happy? Yeah, I'm still happy when I hear the word. When it's Sunday, child, you can't. I'm glad to get to the house of God. Because I feel that's where the party's at. Oh, my God. Y'all, I just delight in hearing the word of God. I don't know what he's going to say. But I know whatever he says, the man of God says, it's come from the, the, the most high. It's come from the king of kings. It's come from the, the, uh, the, the it's come from heaven. 
That's what I believe. And it's always something that I can use. So I'm delightful. I, I'm delighted when it's, you know, it's time to hear the word when it's preaching the gospel time. Even for me, if I'm saying something over the internet, I'm happy. I, I, I love talking about the goodness of Jesus. I love uh, telling somebody about how good he's been to me. That's where my joy comes from. Now, if I look at the schedule today and, and the duties that I have to delight in, I don't find too much joy in it. I just don't. I don't. I'd like to, but I don't. I'll do it as unto God. Now, I sure would like to know where that's coming from. Can you give me a minute, please? Arthur, I'm going to decline your call and call you later. I love you. That's my son. It's 9.23 and I'm going to call him later. But I just wanted to uh, come to you this morning and tell you how important it is to delight ourselves in the Lord. Some things, you know, if we don't delight in the Lord, we can drift away. We can become weak in our faith and we can forget about one another. That's if we don't delight in the Lord. I went to the altar Sunday and I was crying my heart out and someone came and knelt by me and they prayed for me and I got a prayer through. I needed the help. See, sometimes one can chase a thousand, but two, 10,000. Lord knows how many spirits had attached themselves to me on Sunday. I didn't want it to happen, but I came in church and I had some cares. I had some circumstances. We can become weak in our faith and not care about brothers or sisters, okay? That's if you don't delight in the Lord. We can drift away. Um, do you know that if we drift away and don't delight ourselves in the Lord, the government can take away your freedom? Yeah. It can't take away your faith, but the government itself can take away your freedom. That's what they're trying to do in the school system. Take away freedoms. The freedom to raise your child uh, according to this word. Okay? That's dangerous. When a, when a, a school system or any system can tell you you cannot tell your child right from wrong and you cannot apply the rod to a child's uh, rear end and uh, okay some of us have gotten a little crazy with the uh, rod applying of course we know that but uh, 
It tells us also to raise up a child in the way that they should go. There were some times that I applied the rod a little bit too often. Thank God my kids made it through, but I thank God. The three of them are not in jail today. I've had uh, a college graduate. I've got uh, some grandbabies, just a few. The others I collected on my own. Freedoms. Oh, they can't take your faith, though. There's a lot of training going on in the school system. I'm not anti-school, but no. you train my child and tell my child it's okay to be. Uh, if you feel like a woman today, it's okay. And he is, I know he was born a son. I'm not with that. Or you tell my daughter, feeling kind of strong or masculine. Maybe you're, um, you were meant to be a male. Hmm. I'm not into that. Well, how do you delight on, uh, yourself in the Lord? You might want to ask. Be grateful. We don't have everything we want. No. Mm -mm. But we have many things to be thankful for. Many, many things. Go on, Ron Cannoli. Ancient and day of days. Another thing to uh, delight yourself in, the fact that uh, the Lord says, stop the murmuring and the complaining. Okay? Delight yourself into thinking about what you murmuring and complaining about. Delight yourself in it Find that kind of delight and kill it. Nip it in the bud. Stop murmuring and complaining. You could be in worse condition than you could ever know. Don't forget 2019 and 2020 and 2021 and right now. Stop the complaining. You don't have everything you want. Some things you want will harm you in the future. Another thing to do while you uh, are delighting yourself in the Lord is realize that God knows what's best. Some of our desires cause us harm in the future. I wish I had a million dollars. I wish, yes I do. Boy, oh boy, those who have a zillion dollars got more problems than a little bit. I'm serious. Are they resting at night? I mean, let's face it. A lot of headaches come with the uh, great gain, you know, great gain. I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for what I have. But I think I would rather be where God wants me to be so that I can remain humble. Humility is, is something that the Lord can use. If we humble ourselves, he'll lift us up in due time. If we genuinely delight in the Lord, he'll give us the desires of our heart and will eventually help us to align our desires with God's will for us. That's what we have to do. We have to align our desires to be God's will for the, and the purpose of our life. What do you want us to do, Lord? That's what we are, how we are to please the Lord. That's how we delight in him. Find out what he would have us to do and do it. Hmm. I've heard someone say that um, God wants us to, if you see something to do, do it. That's God's will. 
whatever you see that needs to be done, do it. Uh -huh. Which also includes you washing them the sink full of dishes. Or, or going out and, 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 and cutting that grass. Sweeping up them leaves. I remember I didn't have any leaves to sweep up. Mm -hmm. I lived in the projects. What you think I would do? I don't know about y'all. I was I, I was not always where I am now. Mm -mm. Remember to delight yourself first and then you get the desires of your heart the, we got it backwards we have desires in our heart that we put before the cart have you delighted yourself in the Lord oh you say you've been doing it for years well keep doing it. keep doing it. he knows what's best for us and he will give us the desires of our hearts. But we are to delight ourselves first. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. I love you. God bless you and keep you. Pray for me and I'll pray for you. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to sing today. Sing, Ron. Yeah, I remember. I remember being homeless. Now I got grass to cut. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I love you. My name is Mother Gail Trail. I'm just passing through. I'll call you, Arthur. <laughs>